So this is my uh, Star Wars uh, Communications Interceptor. It's a build that I've made um, in the course of uh, four weeks. And uh, the communicator has um, very simple but powerful functions. So it basically has two modes, the Stormtrooper modes and the drawing mode. So we can peek into conversations. Let's start with the um, Stormtrooper modes. Actually, when we when we boot up the device, it starts in the Stormtrooper mode. So let's let's see if we can uh, listen to some uh, communications. And using the rocker switch, we can switch to the drying mode. And again, listen to some conversations. What were my orders? We've got enemy forces in sector four. So <clears throat> I had a lot of fun building it and it's basically just a simple plastic box uh, and I've done some weathering on the front side of the box and actually it did come with a cover. This plastic box uh, did come with a cover but I replaced it with a, a acrylic front, front panel that I designed in Illustrator and that I laser cut on a laser cutting machine so that I could have my lead placed at the where where, where I wanted them. Same thing for the rock, rocker switch, uh, this uh, little rotary switch to listen to conversations and the entry for uh, the holes for the, uh, the speaker and also um, uh, for the greeblies. And I, I also laser cut some chipboard just to uh, make it look like uh, it's a Star Wars item. So it, actually it's written come in Orebesh. It's the Star Wars language. And I've also laser cut some uh, Star Wars uh, Resistance logo in, the, in acrylic that I glued to the side of the box. And uh, yeah, that's it for the box. It's very simple. Somewhat easy to do. I'm not an artist, but I've tried to uh, apply some weathering technique like some uh, rust here, some uh, uh, parts uh, with, with black paint. So it's, it's just acrylic paint. Um, and yes, so um, if we peek uh, inside the box, um, it's a little bit messy because um, I wanted to do as less soldering as I could because I'm not an expert as, at soldering. So um, this is an Arduino microcontroller. So everything is controlled by this uh, little uh, Arduino Nano microcontroller. And I have a little bit, a little uh, MP3 module that is connected to the Arduino and controlled by, by the Arduino to play some MP3 files. So the uh, the voice that you can listen uh, to see here. on the communicator. So in order to avoid to sol solder the last as I could, uh, I actually plug the Arduino Nano into a breakout board so that I could use simple Dupont wires, the same one that I use for prototyping on the breadboard. So I just connect the same wires to the breakout board and it comes with screws. So it's, uh, it's very uh, uh, tight so that uh, you cannot remove uh, wires easily by uh, pulling at them. So it's very tight. Um, but I had to do some soldering anyway because when I bought the uh, Arduino Nano over at Amazon, it didn't come with pin headers soldered on it. So I had to solder the pin headers in order to put the uh, Arduino Nano 
to, uh, to insert it into the breakout board. Uh, same thing for the uh, MP3 module. I had to solder it, uh, solder pin headers to a small PCB that you can see here uh, in order to put the, um, to be able to insert the uh, MP3 module and connect it to the uh, Arduino. And the only thing else I did solder are the uh, switches, uh, the LEDs, so that I, uh, I had to add a, a resistance to every LED, so I have uh, 10 and 2 LEDs for the, uh, the rocker switch um, and the speaker also, I have to solder it and uh, I wanted to, um, to fix the, um, the breakout board of the Arduino Nano and the MP3 model um, and screw them at the back of the uh, of the box but the box is very thin so you can see here it's thin it's the same thing at the back so instead of of using screws um i opted to uh, use velcro so i have a velcro uh, that uh, is sticky uh, at the back and one uh, on the back of the breakout board so that i can use velcro just to uh, make sure that they don't uh, move when we uh, we play with the box with the device and this huge amount of wires is just ground so everything has to be grounded uh, leds has, uh, have to be grounded switches uh, so what i did is actually have uh, one dupon wire connected to the ground on the arduino nano and I just have all the ground, all the other wires for the, the for grounds connected together and inside this little uh, useful electrical uh, connector. So uh, that's basically uh, very simple in terms of electronics. And for the code, uh, I think that I the code is around eight hundred lines it's it's a it's it's a very small code uh code that are mostly to play with the leds uh so that i have random leds uh um displaying when the device is not used and i used some random uh random leds displayed when uh, an mp3 file is played so it seems to be synchronized with the mp3 voice but with the voice but actually it's it's just fake in the code um and also when the uh, the the device is left uh, unattended uh, it displays random uh, leds and also at every one hour we can listen to conversation occurring on different channels <clears throat> So it took me around four weeks to build. Um, I worked hard on the uh, the front panel, um, uh, the electronics, and I prototyped all the electronics on the breadboard before assembling it into the uh, the box. So when I wrote the code for the, the device, actually I wrote it um, and uh, played with it on the breadboard using an Arduino Uno R Revision 3. So it, were, it was easier than to assemble it in the device and try to upload code after that. So uh, that was easier. So it took me four weeks overall uh, in my spare time. So uh, after work, uh, I did programming, coding, or working on the box. And I learned many things, many, many things by building the box. Uh, first of all, how to solder uh, small pins on very small holes on the Arduino Nano. Um, how to have the, uh, the grounds all together. Um, and just soldering resistance to the LEDs. 12 LEDs, I think it took me around two hours to do that. So, but that, that was a very uh, fun work to do. So, 
This is the Star Wars communication interceptor. I need servicing. 